Unit 3 Review, Problem 5. The National Association of Theater Owners wanted to determine if there was a difference in the average ticket price at movie theaters in California and New York. So they commissioned a study that randomly sampled 35 movie theaters in California and 35 movie theaters in New York. For the California sample, the mean ticket price was $8.12 with a standard deviation of $1.76. For the New York sample, the mean ticket price was $12.28, with a standard deviation of $2.04. What determination should the National Association of Theater Owners reach at the 0 0.01 level of significance? Well, to answer this question, what determination should the National Association of Theater Owners reach, we look to the problem to look what they were trying to determine. And here the problem stated that they wanted to determine if there was a difference in the average ticket price. Well, since the answer is either going to be yes, there is a difference, or no, there's not a difference, we will conduct a hypothesis test procedure to help answer this question. Because in a hypothesis test procedure, we let the data decide whether the HO where the H1 idea is valid. This way we could set up the problem where we could say either yes, they are different, or no, they're not different. Now, to determine if this test involves one or two populations, we looked that they wanted to determine if there was a difference in the average ticket price at movie theaters in California and New York. So here it's explicitly talking about two different populations. Movie theaters in California, and movie theaters in New York. Now to determine if we're doing a test involving means or proportions, the problem mentions that they're looking for a difference in the average ticket price. And the mean is an average. So we'll be conducting a hypothesis test procedure for two population means. So we could use these steps in our hypothesis test procedure to help guide us through the process. The first step in any hypothesis test procedure is we state the hypotheses statistically. So we start off writing the H0 and the H1. And this is a test involving two population means. So our symbol for two population means would be mu1 first, mu2 second. Now we must determine if this is a test involving an equal versus not equal. Or is it a greater than equal versus less than test? Or a less than equal versus greater than test? Again, the question is determining which way we go. But before we get there, we have to make sure we know which one is mu1, the first population mean, and which one is mu2, the second population mean. Here, they're looking at movie theaters in California and New York. So since California is mentioned first, we'll just use California as our first population. So mu1 would represent the population mean for California. So with California as our first population, we'll label California data with one, and we'll mention California first in our conclusion. The second population is theaters in New York. So we'll label everything involving New York with the two, We'll enter the New York data in second, and we'll list New York in our written answer second. So with California as our first population and New York as our second population, and we're comparing California movie ticket prices to New York, again, the question was they want to know if there was a difference. Different means they are not equal to. And not equal always shows up in the H1. So our H1 is the mu1 not equal to mu2. And with not equal in h1, the ho is always set up as the opposite and equals. So ho would be the mu1 equals mu2 versus the h1 that mu1 is not equal to mu2. So with our first step in the hypothesis test procedure done, we go to the second step. The second step is where we select the level of significance, alpha. We always use the customary alpha equals 0.05, or 5%, unless stated otherwise. 
In this problem, they do specify. They want us to use a 0.01 level of significance. So we're going to use the alpha equals 0.01 instead of the customary 0.05. Step three, we're going to use the calculator to calculate the p-value so we can reach our conclusion. To do the hypothesis test procedure for two population means, the command on the T83, T84 calculator that calculates the p-value is the 2SAMP t-test command. To get to the 2SAMP t-test command, we press stat, arrow over to tests, arrow down, and select 2SAMP t-test, and press enter. In the 2SAMP t-test command, the first line prompts us for what do we have to input into the calculator. The choice is data or stats. This problem did not give us the actual sample data. Instead, it gave us the number of movie theaters, which is the sample size, the mean ticket prices, and the standard deviation ticket prices. These are the statistics. So since we're given the statistics, we need to arrow the cursor over to stats. With it blinking on stats, we press enter to select. And with stats selected, the calculator is prompting us for the statistics, beginning with the first sample statistics, in this case, California. So California goes first based on our choice, and we need to enter in the X bar one, the SX one, and the N one. X bar one is the sample mean for the first sample, which is California. And in California, the mean ticket price in the sample was $8.12. So we enter in 8.12 for X bar one. The standard deviation in California, or SX1, was $1.76. So we enter in the 1.76 for SX1. And N1 would be the sample size in California, which was the 35 movie theaters. So we type in 35 for N1. Now our second sample, was taken from New York. So the X bar 2, SX2, and N2 with the statistics, the sample mean, the sample standard deviation, and the sample size coming from New York. And in New York, X bar 2, the mean ticket price was $12.28. So we type in 12.28, enter. SX2, the standard deviation in New York, was $2.04. So we enter in 2.04, enter. And into the sample size in New York was 35 movie theaters. So we enter in the 35. Now we could down arrow and select the comparison being made in the H1 alternative hypothesis. H1 was a not equal because they're looking to determine if there was a difference. So we need to arrow the cursor over to the not equal on the calculator and with it blinking on not equal, we press enter to select. So now the calculator is matching the hypothesis that we're testing. Down arrow, the calculator prompts us for pooled. The choice is yes or no. In this case, the answer is going to be no. With the cursor blinking on no, we press enter to select. Essentially, we're not pooling because the both of the sample sizes N1 and N2 are 35, and 35 is over 30. They're sufficiently large, so there's no reason to pool or do anything extra. Now we could down arrow to calculate. With the cursor blinking on calculate, we press enter, and then the p-value will be displayed. Once we have the p-value from the calculator, we can reach our decision. In hypothesis testing, the decision is always the same. We either reject the HO when the p-value is less than or equal to the alpha level of significance. Otherwise, we do not reject HO. Once we determine the statistical conclusion that we're either rejecting or not rejecting HO, we can then state the conclusion in words of the problem by interpreting what the reject or not reject decision means. So pressing enter with the cursor on calculate we get a whole display of all kinds of results. In a hypothesis test, the only number we look to to make our decision is the p-value. Here, the p-value equals 
0.372853E minus 13. The E minus 13 is telling us that the decimal place that is displayed between the 2 and the 3 really needs to be moved 13 places in the negative or to the left. And then all the blank decimal places should be filled in with zeros. Since p values are probabilities, and we really only need accuracy out to three places after the decimal, once we get past the fourth zero, we could just stop. So in this case, the p value rounds to 0, 0.000. So now we can reach our decision. Since the p value of 0, 0.000 is 0 0.01 or less, the decision is to reject HO. And when you reject HO, you can conclude that HO is not valid. So the idea in HO that mu1 equals mu2 is not supported by the data. It's not valid. When HO is not valid, H1 is valid. So since the data does not support that they're equal, the data is actually supporting that they are not equal. So we can conclude that mu1 does not equal to mu2. So now we're ready to answer the question. Therefore, the National Association of Theater Owners should reach the determination that there is a difference in the average ticket price at movie theaters in California and New York at the 0.01 level of significance.